to make a quick demo of the Jomok Sunsen uh, that focuses primarily on these two guys, the RCOs, the Ramp Controlled Oscillators. The Sunsen has a reputation as a really beastly analog polysynth. It's got eight voices, two VCOs, a crazy filter with a bunch of different modes, discrete envelopes, uh, magnificent routing system. Uh, but what people don't usually focus on when they think about it are these guys, the RCOs, which are digital oscillators that can load in uh, sample waveforms that you can play from uh, the keyboard and control in various ways to get some unique sounds that you can't really get on any other uh, synth that I've ever used. Analog, digital, doesn't matter. Uh, and I've used a lot of analog uh, and digital oscillators in my day. I love wavetables. I love crazy, uh, just weird digital, like, Eurorack oscillators. Let's see over here, I got a slew of, like, weirdo oscillators. Uh, but nothing works quite like the Sunsen. So, right now I've got an initialized uh, patch where the <laughs> uh, synth is just, it's got... Uh, the VCOs all the way up. I'm going to turn those down. They sound really nice, but that's not the point of this. Uh, and then turn up the VCOs, or the RCOs, excuse me. Um, so this is RCO1. If I hit the edit control, hopefully you'll be able to see um, the controls for it. Uh, you have a control for the waveform. Uh, also, uh, one for the bank of the waveforms, there are uh, eight banks that you can select from, and since this is a V2 Sunsen, you can upload your own banks. Um, uh, you have a coarse uh, tuning control, octave up or down, and then a fine tuning control which shifts in 1 16th of a semitone, and I think you can go 8 semitones up or down. Um, then you have these strange controls for the loop function, and I'll show you a little bit more about what these do in just a minute. There's a coarse loop control and a fine loop control, and then you have, at least for RCO1, uh, FM controls for how the RCOs can modulate each other's frequency. Uh, these controls are a little bit different than the ones that are in the Sunsen version 1, um, but, hey, whatever. Uh, okay, so, I've said that the uh, there's eight different banks, and to show you what the banks and the waveforms in those banks sound like, I'm going to turn the loop controls all the way up to their full value, which is 16, and this will play all the way through... Uh, the, the waveforms in each bank. This is bank one, and as you can hear, it has a lot of uh, single cycle waveforms at the beginning, and then a little bit of like a guitar lick at the end. If I play down a little bit, uh, so that's that's. Uh, bank one, bank two, uh, it's like a little loop. Uh, so you, you can do sort of cheesy uh, single cycle sample playing if you load in your own samples. Um, bank three. One of my favorite banks. It's a lot of crazy single cycle waveforms. Nice. Uh, bank four. Vocal sounds, little piano in there. Uh, car for bank five. Bank six, I loaded in some bird sounds. That are nice to put in pads, I think. Uh, so that's my own sample. Bank seven. More vocals. Oh, I guess there are only seven banks. Crap on me. Uh, anyway, misinformation there. There are seven banks, not eight. Whatever. Um, 
But now I'll go back to uh, this particular bank, this is bank four, just to show you what the coarse and fine loop controls do, because they're kind of strange. So what it does is you can hear there's a point where this uh, wave gets all the way to the end and then it starts back over. Uh, these loop controls control how that happens, and if you set them to their minimum uh, values, which is one, you just get a single cycle wave. And you can scroll through with the waveform select knob. You can't use an envelope or anything like that, like you could with a wavetable synth. But um, if you then start to increase the value of the coarse and fine loop, you can get some really strange. I mean, that's a strange sound. And then if you, again, increase it to the maximum, this is the original. And so then uh, you can, of course, combine that with the normal VCO sound and then get... Some interesting sounds, uh, like I said, strange things I haven't quite heard on other synths before. So that's uh, just VCO1 as a sawtooth with RCO1. Uh, now I'm going to turn up RCO2. RCO1 and 2 have to share the same bank uh, due to limitations on the processor. Sort of like on a Waldorf microwave, how the, uh, the two different oscillators have to choose the same wavetable. Here they have to choose the same bank, but they can have separate uh, loop controls and tunings and all that sort of stuff. So here you have the animated RCO1 and then a straight wave from RCO2. And then if I start to adjust the loop points on it, get a little bit of... And the thing is, when you're adjusting these, you, you kind of have to experiment to find musical sounds based on the register that you're working with, because the speed at which the wavetable, or not the wavetable, the RCO loops, depends on, it depends on the tone or the note that you're playing. So if I play a much lower note, looping is much, so I'll go up in octaves from very low. Octaves together, you can get some time synced interesting effects. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, just playing around in, in Bank 4. Go back to Here's 
was uh, playing around with the guitar harmonic RCA bang. Switch banks now over to the crazy waveform bank. sound almost uh, just from this weird techno loop bank yeah so you can load in your own samples select single cycle waveforms from them and then also loop them in weird and almost granular synthesis type uh, type ways like I said, I've never encountered another oscillator that works the same way that this does. Uh, and you get two of them, and they can FM each other, and then you can also use them in the routing system to do things like modulate the filter. Uh, sometimes you can get really interesting effects just using the VCOs, uh, and then setting up the uh, RCOs to modulate the filter, so you get these weird irregular uh, filter modulations on top of a standard VCO sound. But yeah, that's uh, just a quick overview of the RCOs, how they work, why they're a little bit strange, some of the glitchy, weird tones you can get out of them.